Now, here we go. It's episode 230 uh, on Squirrel Dove Borcalf. And it's coming at you right now. No. This is the noise that my cat Kumar has learned. And I swear to God, it's the word no. No. He says no all the time. So if I'm trying to sleep, no. Come and put a paw right on my face. No claws or anything. Just just calmly, just like, make sure my, my nose and my lip gets pushed up. No. I love him. Episode 230. My question anyway. uh, is a little different. It is a hypothetical situation, uh, but it's kind of uh, testing the waters of... Uh, I don't want to say where you sit politically, because it's not really a political question. It's a very out there hypothetical. Mm -hmm. But the thing doesn't happen to you. Uh, I think a while ago we had a question of like, you know, your superpower, you got to pick a superpower. Uh, well, you don't. Uh, someone you know very well, so like someone from the upfront, that's someone we, you know, so a mutual friend of all of ours uh, that we know from the upfront gets superpowers. Hmm. What is their moral responsibility to do with what they do with their superpowers? Do they have to? Do they have any right to tell other people? Do they have to? Do they have to tell other people? Can they like? Can they use it just for their own nefarious goals? Should like you know we we're the select group of people who know about this. Hmm. Do we tell them they need to go public with this information and become a superhero and kind of like serve? Uh, do they serve the world? Do they serve America? What what is this person's? And they didn't ask for this. They've been given this response, this power, and it's like Superman. They're like, we're normal, something happened, now they have way more power than any other person on the planet. And so we're the only five that know about it. What, uh, what is their natural inclination to do? Like They're coming to you and they don't know what to do. Oh, okay. They are completely conflicted and they're coming to you. They do not know what to do. I see. And they're pleading for your help. Help me choose. Did you say their ability, or did we decide that? They're kind of like Superman. You know, they're just honestly like they're just a super person. They're the only superhero. There are no other ones. There's no chance of other ones being created. Okay. They're literally. And they want to know from you what if what, what your opinion of their responsibility is, is as yeah. someone who has that power. Yeah, they wow. are torn. They don't know what to do. Do I tell other people? Do I keep this a secret? Like, do, and that's different than, do I use this for other people? Do I use it for myself? Because mm -hmm. if you're being very public with it and using it for yourself, you're like a super villain. If you're being very private and using it for yourself, how does anybody know? Yeah, I think I would tell them that they should keep it a secret if, until they at least feel better about it, and that they should only intervene with other people's situations when it feels right or when people are in mortal peril around them. And what should they do if they feel like that they want to use it for their own needs? Yeah, it's their thing. They can do it. They can, they're allowed? Yeah. You think that's fine? Mm-hmm. Well, if they want your stuff. Well, then no. That's, that's rude. Why? Because that's my stuff. Rude, but, but they have more power. And so? you said it's okay. I have more power than a baby. I'm not going to go steal its rattle. Crouch it. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Cecily for the most part. I, I, I already feel like every human being has an obligation, ethically, to try to increase the quality of life mm -hmm. of anybody that they can at any time. Um, which is why I like to do the things that I like to do. You know, I like to see that, that my creativity and, and any performance type related thing that I do is making at least somebody else happy, it, potentially. So, you know, just find, find the way that you can help people in the way that you like to help people the most and, and do that as much as you can. So if somebody has a power that's amazing, I would suggest that they use it in the best way that they can to increase the quality of life of as many people as they can. 
And as far as just, like, Caleb to them tips, yeah, I would say probably keep it a secret as long as you can because nobody wants to, like, get the whole government turned in, turned on them or whatever. And then also, uh, yeah, like, if they want to use their power for a way that's not going to decrease the quality of life of somebody else, uh, at least in a very overt way, I would say to go for it. But otherwise, like, what's the whole point? Like, if you just go around... Like blasting people with your eyeball lasers and taking their swatches. <laughs> so basically, what Cecily said, but again, the second time, me saying it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, I would. I feel like I would recommend that they just stop being a bitch. <laughs> about things. No, um... You got superpowers, man! What are you crying for? <laughs> uh, I would say, look, man, or woman, there... Are, nobody's taken this stuff, this ability from you, and nobody else has it. So why not use it for good and, you know, make the world a better place all the time. That's your job. And I'm That's sure if you need, yeah, and if you if you need some like dough or whatever, you can you know you can pull some strings. But they would have to like tell people that, that, that this person would do that, though, right? No, that's what a that's what a disguise is for. Right, but then you've got to maintain your regular life and provide all the things that you need on a regular basis while maintaining this other identity. Whereas if you're a superhero and you can just take what you want, you don't need to worry about a job with those other responsibilities. Yeah, you sure. Just concentrate no, I, saving people. I get that, yeah. I'd still think that, you know, just because that's appealing, you know, you, you're going to want some semblance of privacy mm -hmm. and still be able to help the world. That's, that's where I'm coming from. Like, maintain privacy, but also help the world gotta have an alter ego uh, well then. Yeah. so we have doing, Nathan? we have a lot of resources um, that were not available to the typical superheroes that we see in movies uh, like we can watch superhero movies for example and in spider-man and other superhero movies I don't know that they're aware of all these superheroes right. um, so, imagining that I'm friends with this person, I would of course want to be their less powerful sidekick to help them explore their abilities in a kind of discreet way. We might go out to chuck a nut and find out how far they can fly or jump and what the parameters of their powers are, provided they want to. You know, they might not even want to. Um, you know your limits. Yeah, and I have... Oh, yeah, we would watch superhero movies together to find out what persona best represents who they want to be. And I haven't read comic books ever, but I would for a friend. <laughs> so we would just kind of determine that. And in a lot of superhero movies, you get to find the origin. Like Spider-Man was bit by a spider. So I would ask them how these powers came to be. And that would help me determine if there are other people in the world that might have a similar experience, and maybe there's a group that we could migrate to, assuming I would be allowed in. Well, James did clarify that there was only one super person. Right, but world. do I know that? Well, James just told you. Oh, okay. Then I would not do that. <laughs> we would end at watching movies and reading comic books. Yeah, the idea is that this is a, a honestly, the, the idea of, like, you give the powers of a god to a man, and it's not you. you but you have to, you know, you have some semblance yeah. of some say. Well, with the looking for others that may have this power, that's just like my human nature coming out. Yeah. Like, I would have this... Want to connect. Of course, this thought, like, well, if this person has it, maybe some of the other seven billion might, so I would want to look, even if to no avail. Hmm. Cool. Is that everyone? Yeah. 
Well, we have to end each episode on an exciting moment, so whoop, 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 whoop.